Okay, let's go look on closer on some components. And currently you can see layout. We have it on top and right button again. From previous tutorial, you notice you can customize them. So I don't necessarily want to go over positioning. Instead, we'll go over a specific windows that we're using right here and see what each of them provide us with what kind of tools. To do this, I'm going to switch to advanced mode. Okay, you'll notice in a second when it's loading. Now we have it some floating toolbars, which just help us just look closer on what options we have. Okay, overall in application, very standard, we have a top navigation in new from drop down, file, edited, view, render, windows, help. We also have a um, toolbar on the top, which is total customizable. We can change them. We can apply on the side toolbar or we can move just readjust maybe right here. And we have it also work viewports that is can change content. For example, some right here depend on what uh, segment or node you selecting. As well, we have an additional windows that is currently not yet present. It is when you work with material and you have a function editor. As example, when we select um, our first segment, we can go inside the materials and we can open material editor. You'll notice it's a very familiar if you're using um, Vue and we have it our very similar all properties, which is very nice. Um, you don't need to relearn any new things. However, a couple of difference. If I'm click and going to function editor, you'll notice again, this is different layout. You can change if you want it. And mostly I want increase kind of size on function editor. Here, let me even drag more. You notice right here we have it our functions, and this is going from left to right, not from top to bottom, like in a view. And rest is very similar, so just a little bit positioning flow. If you work with other applications, maybe like uh, soft image or other ones, it's mostly using from left to right, so you feel familiar more to this flow than from top to bottom. Again, this is a little bit different. And also when you're done right here on the top, we have it yours options. So we cancel right now. We'll go look on this in more details a little bit later when we start um, building our plans and work a little bit closer with function editor. So let's look open and we'll go look on a, what we have position. You notice as a toolbar, we have a new load save. This is represent right in our side right here. This is toolbar. We also have it next uh, node options. So we can disable, you can see right we disappear them. Okay, let's go back to re-enable. And the nodes will have it normally copy paste. We also have it ungroup group. We have it um, hide selection of the node as well. Close, cancel. Okay, we also have it a plant right here we have options different components of the plant leaves branches different components okay another toolbar we have it um shortcuts tools display options and render options so when we deselect unplug them we have a name on top toolbar render options and other options so you can reconnect and use it them so it's kind of helpful you can see which toolbar you're using for example when you work maybe with a function editor you want you don't want your render toolbar display it so we can just cancel and create this workflow again anytime when you want to re enable you can go back click and re-enable to show your toolbar currently this is floating toolbars and if you have it multi-monitor setup you can probably take all these bars and move it to your secondary monitor to clean up more workspace on your main as well you can readjust some windows to work better with the multi-monitor setup okay right here so this on a tool and we kind of look on these bars that understanding when we go over properties they're not fixed positions 
they're gonna be readjust but in main tutorial I will enable all of them so we can look on most properties this time okay let's go again at top our bar and right here you notice we have it um, drop down menu with the file options we have same duplicates what we have it right in this option so we can create a new open save save as so this is very similar we can look on recent file histories we can import some meshes to ours and also we can export and export we can export different as well as a view species which mostly we will use it and different between object and species for view it will be one does not apply it as a plant uh, physics and another will be so you can see we have a different types export we also have it options and of course exit of application and edit menu we have it active edit different type we also have it some currently disabled we need select components to re-enable this option so we can cut paste it's very standard undo redo we have it also um, general plant parameters setting for the wind global blades and this is will look a little bit closer on us in how we will progress through our applications okay we have a different type of view we can set up view graph previews um, it's set up a render preset and again this is an additional window which is hiding and if you're going to render options you'll find somewhat similar to the view with some limitations on rendering mostly this will apply to render and preview your plant inside the application okay we'll have it windows with the most we already look on some options and we'll have it also some additional windows that currently not in a selected but you always can click and enable preview those windows and interface colors will look before and the help menu you have it started overview and uh, link to the documentation so this is top bar most of the tools will accessible same from the drop down menu or more as a hot um, links icons on top so it's a very similar the options what you have it on top and some little bit more extended so for example the side toolbar it's allowed to access and create directly nodes without create uh, clicking so for example I can create a different node instead in our um, node viewport so let's click delete it right now on this one good so next let's look on the, also some bars that we have right here I mentioned this is already to create some plant and you can notice we have it to plant root advanced mode it's currently enabled disable we have it also hide some branches billboard hide uh, objects when we start creating we can preview different type of the um, show less we can preview as well as uh, dividers increase we can go by materials by segments so we have a different preview modes also as UV mode as well we can enable wind when we create plant and you can see some animations on the wind will apply these all options you can access from drop down menu we also can enable mirror roller which is very nice so we can preview approximately height of the object and we can change the directions additional um, menus which include a render again if you right click it's similar render options will look before we can um, render specific areas or render some um, look at render stock animation okay we also have additional toolbars this is more applied to the plants where we can create or going in a paint mode we can paint the branches and other options we can cut them and reposition readjust side ones how we look it's a mostly very familiar with all these functions um, and options that come inside the view if you work before you will be very familiar as well you can create a different type geometry this is you can access from 
sidebars or if you want you can right click and access all of this by right clicking inside your component kind of flow menu. 